Bowden Barrett has the ball. And Jaco Piper blows the whistle. And away we go. The 24th time these two countries have met. And here's a man who'll carry the ball a lot and he's been nailed. That's Issa. Fakunda Issa. Who is a strong ball runner. Big moment for a young man from Southland. He's waited all season, being part of the All Black squad. Damien McKenzie plays his first test for the All Blacks, replacing Ryan Crotty, which means there'll be a shuffle in the back line. Ben Smith looks as though he's come forward at centre until Leonard Brown has moved into 12. Landaho spins it wide. And Issa lost it. Lost it. Playing still under advantage. And good tackle by first up, tackle by McKenzie, but Argentina get up and go again. And Chaparro. Now Sanchez works it across. And good run by Moroni, but cut down around the ankles by McKenzie. Julian Savia, good strength shown by him. Now Kerbalo whips it away. McKenzie coming on the angle. Going into heavy contact. As the All Blacks threaten. They haven't had much ball to play with in recent times. Here's a flat pass. Beautifully handled. Here's McKenzie. Great effort by Damian McKenzie. And I don't know. This is in contact with the ball when the ball is over the line. Knock on. All Blacks haven't got too much back. As they come across, it's... Julian Savia and feeds it off to McKenzie. McKenzie, nice little shimmy, and in the end gets hit hard. First man in, yeah. And it's been turned over. It'll rise to 16 as Cabelli works it away. Now the flat cross kick, and McKenzie stumbling, and a try is scored by Tukalets. Now, Cabelli clears it away. And a clean break coming up here as the All Blacks missed a tackle. And crashing on goes Orlando. Laid back by Orlando. Cabelli saw a little bit of a hole. Got out of the Curbalo tackle, still going. Now, can he link up? Taken to the ground by McKenzie. But Argentina only 10 metres away. And uh, here comes the runner charging hard onto that was De La Fuente. Right, so hold. Senatori gets it away. And heading for the corner. But in touch. So that will finally bring to an end quite a bizarre test match. The All Blacks dominated entirely in the first half. And led by 29 points to three. And then they spent 20 minutes in the second half with only 14 players. Final score, 36 to 17.